shorts and boots. Don't judge me. I'm a redneck and I know it. But this is Texas and it is springtime. <laughs> so it's a little bit warm. It's a little bit too warm to be wearing pants. But I also know how muddy the property is. Sorry, I'm chasing squirrels. I thought I heard something over there. Um, but the, the property is muddy and wet. So I didn't want to drive my truck and tear up any roads or anything like that. So as you can obviously tell, I'm just simply improvi improvising. <laughs> but what's up guys and welcome back to another episode. And I'm glad that you could join me and um, I'm sure that judging by the title you guys are probably interested in where I'm going hunting next. And in order to find out you're going to have to wait towards the end of the video. It's just something that I've kind of kept on the down low for a little while. A few of you know because you paid really close attention to some previous videos and a lot of you don't know and that's kind of what I'm here to announce in this video. Today's just going to be a little laid back vlog and I haven't filmed one of these in forever it seems like. Um, I come out here to my lease which everything is greened up tremendously as you guys can tell. So I'm just out here I'm checking some cameras, I want to throw in some trail camera pictures for you, kind of give some hunting tips and tricks, and then we will get on to the big announcement later towards the end of this video. So I hope that you guys watch all the way through to catch all the details and all the good stuff that's going to be in this episode. So with that being said, I wanted to remind you guys that the 4B caps are in stock. They will be linked down in the description below at 4boutdoors.com. And all four colors are in stock, and a lot of you expressed some interest in some t-shirts. So, um, those are in the works. So, I appreciate all the support from you guys, and um, I will let you know in a later video whenever those will be available. And they're not just going to be, like, my branded, you know, logo t-shirts. Um, there will be some of those, but I've got a, a pretty neat saying that I think a lot of you will agree with. And um, So, I'm going to come out with a couple of different t-shirts like that, something that everybody can wear. And um, I hope that you're excited for them, because I know I am. <laughs> I put, a, put quite a bit of thought into them, and um, I've got the, the guy working me up some designs right now, so pretty pumped. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, let's, look, let's check this out right here. <laughs> we got a nasty storm a few days ago, so the property is absolutely disgusting right now. Um... But one thing I, I did want to mention is when everything's real green like this, it can be real hard to hunt just about anything. And most of the time hogs will show up to a corn feeder regardless. But everything kind of starts to move out and start grazing on stuff like this that's real green. And I don't blame them because what I've always been told and what I've always um, kind of realized I guess is a good way to put it is like to deer corn is like a candy to them I mean they love it but if there's natural brows they're more than likely gonna go for the natural brows which is also why I haven't seen very many trail camera pictures of deer here lately and um, I almost guarantee you whenever I go check these cameras maybe 10% of them will be deer there will obviously be some cow pictures and then the rest will be miscellaneous and hogs so we're going to check them and uh, I'll let you guys know but another thing that I'd like to note is that I do a whole lot more spot and stalk style of hunting this time of year because typically you'll find pigs or you know whatever you're hunting they'll be out grazing somewhere deer will also be grazing but obviously it's not deer season deer exotics will be out grazing they won't come to corn just because the simple fact that, well, it's like I was stated a while ago, there's more natural brows for them. But anyway, we're coming up on this first feeder here. And when we get there, I will update you guys. I'll throw in some trail camera pictures. We'll take a look at those. The time and the date are both messed up on this one specific camera, so that kind of stinks. But pay no mind to that. i got to get it fixed. And once I do that, then we'll obviously have accurate dates and times but I can still figure it out for the most part but here we are coming up on it so I got plenty of 
plenty of pigs and cows and out of like 2200 pictures I think there was maybe 10 that <laughs> were showing deer which I totally understand I get it um, by the time this fall comes back around they'll be back on it but anyway uh, just kind of not really surprising I guess but uh, my feeder is kind of empty so I got to get filled back up but plenty of animals and it seems like I just filled that feeder and it's already empty I think I hunted it maybe once or twice in the last several weeks that it's been full or had full in it but it's obviously empty now so I gotta do that and then uh, we're on our way to the next feeder and I was not surprised by my trail camera results correct at the time that they, for whatever reason, it just got thrown off, which I found very funny. So, but, uh, anyway, we're going to head on over to this next one. I think part of that has to do with the wind. That's insane. Swap these cards. And then we'll see what we got here. Or one turkey, I guess, but then there's loads more hogs right there. And those two groups joined up. There's actually a sow in that group. I don't recognize her. She must, must be a move-in. <laughs> But rest assured, um, she will go down fairly quickly, hopefully. <laughs> oh, look, there's a few deer pictures. Cows. Pigs. But let's, uh, let's get back to the house, and I will update you guys on the whole important part of this video. The part that you've all been waiting for. <laughs> so, the big announcement, I guess. Okay, so I'm back here at the house now, and I'm going to do a little bit of shooting for you guys. And with me going on this trip that I'm about to announce is um, going to be these lethal injections. I will be taking them with me and using them in Africa, and I'm uh, pretty pumped about it. <clears throat> and I've, I've had great results with them uh, so far. And so I, I really recommend uh, Custom Archer Accessories and you guys try these out. I'll leave you a discount code right here so that uh, y'all can buy some and save yourself 20% and try them out for yourself. I've been using them for like a year or so now, maybe a little bit longer than that. I've shot all kinds of animals with them and love them. So that being said, we're going to do just a little bit of shooting here and then I will get into what the, what the, what the good stuff is. Those first two may be a little bit rough, but we're going to go down there. <clears throat> I'm going to pull them. It's been a w little while since I've shot and practiced a whole bunch, but uh, since I've been out traveling a lot, doing a lot of hunting. Um, but I'm fixing to pick back up on it, and I'll be shooting at least three or four times a week now because I'm going to Africa. So this is the uh, this is the big news that I've been waiting to announce for a long time. Now, I can't even begin to explain to you guys how pumped I am. I have a list of animals here, and... It is, give me one second, Warthog, Impala, Gemsbach, or an Oryx, Blue Wildebeest, Baboon, and a Zebra, and maybe one other animal. I haven't decided yet. So I've got a pretty good list there, and I'm super pumped. I'll be hunting with Bailey Sipple Safaris, and I would recommend that you guys go check them out. And it's going to be tons and tons and tons of footage lots of videos and it's going to be one of the coolest hunting experiences i think i've ever had i've been to africa before but i've never hunted i went last summer for a mission trip and then this summer i'll be going back to hunt and so i'm still i'm still kind of speechless that this is all going to be happening i'm going in august and my dates will be the 7th through the 15th i believe so we'll have a solid seven or eight days or seven six or seven days there hunting and 
I'm, I'm still still speechless. So I'm, I'm super pumped to be going and I'm excited to share all the fun and exciting content. But uh, going to Africa and hunting has been a dream of mine since I was very little. Um, I've done a lot of research and it's always something that always seemed like it would just be a dream. And through YouTube and through um, Bailey Simple Safari's reaching out to me and through this platform that I have I've been blessed with the opportunity to go and so I, I want to say a big thank you to you guys for all the support um, obviously I want to say a big huge uh, thank you to uh, Bailey Simple Safari's as well for allowing me the opportunity to come over and hunt <coughs> and uh, lodge us and take care of us for the week and so I would, again, I would recommend that you guys go and check them out, and I will leave some information down in the description below. You guys can follow them um, on Instagram, you can follow them on Facebook, um, all that good stuff. But um, it's just going to be me and my parents. Um, I did have a whole list of buddies that were going to go, uh, some other YouTubers as well, but they all uh, just weren't, they're not going to be able to make it this summer, which is pretty unfortunate because I would really like to have had some of my buddies there to kind of experience this or to experience this with me. And so it's, uh, it's okay though. We're going to, we'll go back, I'm sure sometime soon and experience it together. That'd be super cool. Cause I'd like to go with some of my filming buddy, YouTube buddies and some of the other, these other channels. But anyways, um, I hope that you guys are excited. I, I'm pumped to finally be able to share the news and I'm going to do uh, lots of shooting going to prepare. Uh, I've got to get my bow back up in tip-top shape and make sure it's all tuned out and still tuned coming out of deer season and turkey season and everything else. So there's not much else to say other than I'm going to Africa and I can't wait. So uh, let me know what you guys think about hunting in Africa. Let me know if that's something that you guys uh, dream to do and uh, I would definitely say if you're looking at going, go check out Bailey Simple Safaris and shoot them a message, get on their website, um, do whatever, and, and look at booking a trip with them. Because um, just from the communication that I've done so far in the last six or eight months with Dempsey, he's uh, it's been a super uh, great guy, very accommodating and, and just very helpful, I guess is, a, is the best word to use there. Very, very helpful and, and informational and, and letting me know everything that I need to do in order to um, get over there and get to our hunting as quickest and easiest as possible so um, stand up guy so far but anyway I'm gonna take a couple more rounds of shooting here and then I'm gonna end this video out uh, thank you guys so much for watching I love each and every one of y'all are amazing be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and uh, leave me a big thumbs up let me know what you think in the comment section down below about going to Africa uh, still speechless and all I can say is that I'm super excited other than the, the plane ride that's gonna stink but still gonna be pretty stinking cool and I can't wait to get there and, and be hunting so anyways love you guys y'all are amazing and I will see you tomorrow mm -hmm.